Maria. Hi, Maria. Oh, can you hear me? Now. Oh, now, hello. Yes, you. you're good. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Um, earlier today, you just were talking about fans. So, I don't know, what do you think about them? If you have especially, I mean, people from different countries, for instance, Latin America, what would you say to them? Well, yeah, it's been, uh, the support has been fantastic ever since, uh, of course, I retired. How many people have, have reached out to me about my career? How many people have reached out to me today even just on social media from all over the world? And I was kind of following during the day. I was, of course, busy with, with tickets and all sorts of other stuff. But I, I kind of kept an eye on it every now and then today. And so many people have reached out to me. And, and I just want to say thank you for, for obviously the fans here and for coming tonight. And, and everybody who tuned in or reached out to me, uh, you mean it means it means more than uh, than they know. So it's uh, the support has been fantastic for for a long, long time, and I, I don't I don't take that for granted. Email Maria. Hi, coach. Hope you're well. First of all, congrats for the win against the Warriors. Earlier today, you were saying that you were not talking about the jersey you're wearing tonight, but now that the game is over and the ceremony is over, I mean, I would like to know if there is a story behind the jersey you're wearing or what is the greatest memory that you have um, playing, of course, with Dirk? A lot of great questions. Um, Expect to talk about one of the best maps, if not the best map ever, to put on a uniform. Um, just wanted to see what a 4 1 looked like. Um, but it's just, you know, uh, you talk about a legend, an icon um, on and off the floor. And so, out of respect, I thought I would put the jersey on. This came when I was writing my speech um, right before the game. Um, so, I had this idea that I would wear his jersey. Um, but he, you know, he, Dirk has a lot of stories. I just don't have enough time to tell you. Um, but I think when we talk about um, you know, just a competitor, just, you know, he always worked. And, uh, you know, early in his career, he, he was uh, probably a little nervous. Um, but I think at the end of his career, he was feared. And that's just a, a great story in itself that uh, he worked with hard that. Um, uh, pretty good. I think that's just a great story that Dirk is. Uh, I think he said it. He was nervous at first, uh, maybe homesick, but he found a way in Dallas, accepted him, and, and helped grow him to who he is today. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.